Hey, welcome back YouTubers. This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas. It's a new week, so that means I got a new tutorial. And this week, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create your own cinemagraphs using Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get it. Rah! So a cinemagraph is pretty much a moving picture, but it's where everything in the frame is still and only one thing is moving, giving us a one of a kind cool effect that absolutely crushes. Now I recently did this effect on a photo shoot I did over the weekend for a good friend of mine for birthday pictures and it came out phenomenal and I was like, you know what, let me make a tutorial on how to do this so you guys can go ignite your editing today. Now when you shoot your cinemagraph, the first step is you're gonna wanna shoot on a very level surface. So what I mean by that, I'm talking shoot with a tripod or an extremely flat surface. Now I say this because any camera movement whatsoever is gonna make it trash. It, it's not gonna work. Next, you're gonna wanna film the scene and this is what we shot. Um, since it was her birthday, I thought it would be cool to actually use a party blower. You're gonna wanna skim through your scene. And I'm gonna start right here. Then you're gonna wanna find a loop in your scene. So, I'm, uh, that's about right, right there. Hit your blade tool, hit the B, the B button for your blade and chop. So that's my loop right there that I made. We're gonna wanna come to the beginning and hit option F. What that's gonna do is gonna create a freeze frame. And you can make this as long as you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend it out. Um, I'm gonna do 1017. Gucci, WAP. Shouts to Gucci, man, that's my favorite rapper. So I'm gonna do 1017 as the duration. Once you have the cinemagraph freeze, freeze frame up top, you could then bring the moving frame under and Command C, hit Command C and paste it. And you're gonna wanna do that all the way to the very end and fit that accordingly. Next, we're gonna draw a mask on our freeze frame. So we'll go to the effects, draw mask, and we're gonna add control points around the party horn or party blower. Now I'm gonna zoom in so I can get a more precise cut, more precise mask. And I'm gonna outline the party blower. Doesn't have to be perfect, but whatever object is moving, that's what you're gonna wanna mask. Now that I have that, we're gonna, as you can see, it looks garbage right now. So we're gonna come over here to the effects Invert mask, when we're, we're gonna invert it. And as you can see, we're not getting the full motion of the horn. And we're gonna move these control points accordingly to accommodate. So extend this out. Not bad, not bad, we're getting there. Now, it can look better. I got pretty much the outline, but I'm gonna come back over here to the effects browser on the draw mask. I'm actually gonna feather it. I think I'm gonna feather mine like negative 16. Look at that, that's a lot better. And I'm gonna just polish it up right here. Yeah, I like that right there. Once you get it perfect, let's go ahead and fit this and let's preview it. Now we could stop right there. I actually wanna slow it down a little bit. Now if the tutorial helped you enough already and you got what you got, thank you guys for watching. Hit subscribe for me, but if you wanna 
go in depth and learn how to actually make it slower. I'm gonna show you that right now. So I'm gonna actually copy this, copy the freeze frame, copy that with the mask that we did. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm actually gonna come to the time where it has the time. And I'm gonna slow it down like 25%. And I'm gonna drag this over here and I'm gonna delete the rest. See ya, all right? You see, you see what I'm doing here? Okay, so control C, I'm gonna control V, control V, command V, all the way to the end. And fit that there. Let me see how that looks. Yeah, that's a lot better. Look how clean that is. And there you have it, voila. Just like that, you made your own cinemagraph. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was informative and I hope you guys are creating your own cinemagraphs using Final Cut Pro 10. As always, go ahead and crush that like button, hit subscribe so you never miss a tutorial, and stay tuned because I have a lot more great stuff coming to the channel. If you want a tutorial, go ahead and go in the comments and write that down below so I can break down whatever you need. And as always, please go out and ignite. See ya.